Now I'd like to tell you a story about a Medal of Honor recipient. His name is Sergeant George Jordan. Now I'd like to tell you this story in the first person, so I'm going to talk as though I am Sergeant George Jordan. Wow, am I a lucky man, a free colored man, top soldier, 9th Cavalry in these United States of America. You know, I'm as happy as the alligator at a baptism. But you know, it hasn't always been that way. You see, I was born a slave in Tennessee. And when I was old enough, I had to pick cotton from sun up to sun down. Later, I had to do it sometimes with shackles on my ankles. You see, I was known as a runner. Every chance I got, I tried to run away. Well, you know, that Civil War broke out, and I heard about that. The first chance I got, I ran away up to Nashville, Tennessee, and I joined the Union Army. And I became an infantryman in the Colored Regiment. Well, I fought with the Union until the war was over. And when the war was over, Mr. President Abraham Lincoln, he urged Congress to pass a bill to start a Colored Regiment. It would be made up of the 9th and 10th Cavalry, 38th, 39th, 40th, and 41st Infantry. But the problem was Mr. Lincoln was assassinated before that happened. But in May of 1866, Congress went on and passed that bill. And they passed it with stipulations. One was that none of the colors could be officers. Well, I heard about that, and I went up there to join in. Well, you know, I've been walking all my life, so I knew all about that, so I joined the cavalry. Well, they sent me west. I fought in a number of engagements. In several years, I made the rank of sergeant. We were in the Mexico territory, and I had 25 troopers with me, and we were escorting the cattle drive. A, a messenger came up and told us that Victorio, the Chiricahua Indian chief, had jumped the reservation with over 100 warriors, and he was heading to Tularosa to kill all the men women and children and take their guns and horses and turn south and go into Mexico. Well, we rode as hard as we could to try to beat Victoria to Tularosa. We almost killed our horses in the process, but we did beat him there. But if you've ever been to Tularosa, you know it's all flat ground, hardly no trees, hardly no rocks. So we had to dig trenches in the ground to fight from. Well, Victoria showed up. He charged us once, we fought him off. We charged us twice, we fought him off again. He charged us a number of four times and we were able to fight him, fight him off all four times. He then turned south and went on into Mexico. Well, you know, I'm proud to say we did not lose one uh, farmer, his wife, nor child. Matter of fact, we didn't even lose a Buffalo soldier, although 12 of us got wounded. Later, Major Crook showed up with the rest of the regiment. We told him what happened. He turned south and chased Victorio into Mexico. Well, he told my captain what happened. My captain put me in for a Medal of Honor. Well, several battles, battles later, and one year later, I received my Medal of Honor. Well, I fought on in the Indian Wars until, until they was over. Then they transferred me up to Fort Robinson, Nebraska, where I served in the military up there until I had 30 years in. I retired. Bought me a little old farm in Crawford, Nebraska. Became a farmer. Was doing all right, but I took sick after a while. And I went to the hospital twice. And both times they refused to treat me because I was a colored man. Can you believe that? A Medal of Honor recipient in these United States of America being refused medical care because he was colored? Well, I soon died. But the Army treated me well, and on my death certificate it said the reason for death was the lack of medical attention. They gave me a military funeral, and they buried me in a military cemetery. But let me say this, as I sit here before you today as Sergeant Major J.J. Jones, I'm proud to say that I'm a Buffalo soldier. I'm also proud to say that I am the son of a Buffalo soldier soldier. And I'm proud to say that I'm a resident of this great state of Arizona. But I'm mostly proud to say that I'm a citizen of the United States of America.